Good morning everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm in the car, heading up to West Berkshire. And today, I'm gonna go on one of my good friend, Joe's digs, who's part of the History Hunters. And we're going on a History Hunters dig. Never been on one, so I'm very excited. And they have some amazing land today. In West Berkshire, there's a field, it's very big, about 120 acres between two fields and we're in a very good area, there's Roman right next to it, there's been um, Bronze Age and Iron Age axe heads found, there's been old torques, lots of Roman coins, Roman brooches, so I am very excited. We're about five minutes away, it's a cold day, it is November the 26th today getting into winter now so I've got all my winter gear on I've got about three t-shirts on two pairs of trousers I'm all geared up and I'm very excited to get out on the fields and hopefully get a load of Roman a couple old silver coins maybe even some Celtic gold as well that would be insane even insane just to see as well right let's get to it and we have arrived we've been on the field about half an hour now found not too much yet, lots of bullets, but we've heard of two Roman fibulas come out, which are the Roman safety pin shaped brooches, which is good because also on the recce when Joe came on here, he was running the dig, he was just on his own, only for about an hour, and he found two as well. So clearly there's quite a few Roman brooches here, and also, of course, where there's Roman brooches, there will be Roman coins, which has been a couple of them out as well. I've got a good signal here. It's quite loud, quite high pitch, a 90. So I don't think it'll be a Roman, unless it's a big one, but it might be a mill coin. It's just in here. My pinpoint is going crazy because it's iron la um, Roman land. So there's lots of iron and mineralization in the soil. So I just need to listen out to where it's loudest, which is right there. And there we go. As expected, it is a rifle shell. Right everyone, so I'm with Joe, and I think Joe has just found something insane on his own dig. Check this out. I think you've had a massive Roman brooch. Should we do the real yeah, reveal together? On. I want to see a big stone on there. Are you going to jinx it? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's, that's Roman. Look at, the, look at the gold. Oh my god, the stone. Has any of you got a spray? I haven't. I haven't. That is unreal. What? That's the biggest one I've ever had. I've got three of these now. This that is the biggest. Is mental. Still got the pin as well, I think. Oh my goodness. Right, we'll clean it up and we'll come back. That is insane. Oh, look at that. There's so much gold still left on it as well. I think it's missing the stone sadly but that is crazy oh look at that just being gentle so i don't knock yeah, any of the guilt off that is beautiful and there's silver guild on the back as well oh that is mental i've never seen one like that oh, look at the silver that is beautiful. Oh, it's got a little bit of pin there. Oh, yeah. Can't believe that's about 1700 years old, that. Maybe even a bit older. I'll just use up your water here, Andy. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. For a find like that, that is insane. So while we're talking brooches, check this one out. Craig has had another beautiful disc brooch. I'm just finding bullets everywhere. I'll show you them all at the end, but this one is crazy. Look at that. Lovely red enamel on there. And it's still got the pin on the back as well. Absolutely stunning. Two amazing Roman brooches. Right everyone, so I'm here with Andy, another person who has found lots more than me. The old great detectorist, go check out his channel, put a little photo there. And he has found lots, especially this lovely little fragment of a Roman fibula. You can see there's some silver on there, which is very nice. I've only ever seen one other Roman brooch with silver on it, but 
Sadly, it's not complete. And then we've got a load more Roman coins here. Three nice little ones. It's quite a nice one there. Camp Kate. Mm-hmm. Which is lovely. I reckon they'll clean up nice. And then another one here. With some soldiers on that side, I think. But yeah, very well done, Andy. Thank you, Paddy. It's definitely here. There's plenty here. Just got to get on there and find it. Exactly. That was a tough morning. Bullets everywhere. Every signal, bullet, bullet, bullet. I had one button that I thought was going to be a Roman coin, but it wasn't. But man, those brooches were unbelievable. They were beautiful. That big gold one that Joe found, I've never seen one in person like that. But we're going to refuel, get some lunch. I'm starving. And we're going to get back to where those brooches and Roman coins are found and hopefully get some in the afternoon. Finally, I've got myself a Roman coin. We've come up to a bit of a different area. There's about nine people around this area, probably like the only people that are left, lots of people went. And finally, I've got a Roman coin. Just down here, it was the same signal as all the bullets. And there we go. I've got a little Roman coin. I am over the moon. Oh, it's a good one as well. You can just see the head there. I'll get it on the little camera in a sec. And then there'll be something on that side. But you can see that head very nicely. Right, I'll get it on the smaller camera. Let's go. And there's been another brooch found just up there. There's Roman everywhere. And now that I've got one, I'm gonna get loads. And it is a very nice one as well. You can see two soldiers there and like a staff in the middle. Almost like a little eagle in the middle there. And it almost looks like a palm tree there. Which is nice and look at that bust man it's only a small one but it is very nice that head is depicted beautifully getting about probably 17 1800 years old just popped out the ground good as new right everyone i'm with mark here and check these out was that fibula from today or not no this was off the recce from these fields from oh, this field oh goodness look at that Look, still got the pin as well. That is stunning. And look, all these Romans from just now. That one's a stunning one. Wow. Look, the Romans everywhere. Look at that. Stunning. That fibula as well. Good job, Mark. Right, guys, so just caught up with everyone here, and there has been tons up. Look at that. Little the 10 brooch. Probably very early Roman, yeah. could even be yeah. Iron Age. <laughs> Tiny little thing. Beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And Craig is just wiping the floor of us. He had that beautiful red enamel disc brooch earlier. And just, just look. Mental. These are all Roman coins. And he's had a little Latin brooch as well. The one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine Romans and two stunning brooches. Mental. This is definitely the spot. End of the day now, but it really was a great day. To be honest, we didn't really find much. My dad found nothing. He had one little Roman coin, though, that I think I showed you guys. But I'll show you at the roundup. It's really, really small. There's not much on it. But it's definitely a Roman coin, which is cool. And I had a decent Roman coin, which I'm, I'm pretty happy with. But even though we didn't find much, just seeing all those brooches and all those Roman coins just made the day complete. And hopefully you guys enjoyed the video because, man, those brooches, pff, mental. Especially Joe's big one, the big gold one. I've never seen one like that in person. But we're going to head home now, about an hour's journey. It is very dark now. It's only about four o'clock and you cannot see the sun at all. It's very misty. But we're going to head home, clean everything up. I hope everyone enjoyed that video. I'm not doing a roundup because there was nothing to really show you guys. But this photo of this Roman coin here, though, is kind of all you really need to see. It's a beautiful coin. It's probably around 3rd century, but I still don't have a positive idea on it. If anyone knows, please leave it in the comments. But probably 3rd, maybe 2nd century. And those brooches were insane. The big gold one was 2nd century. A big um, disc brooch. And then the little one, probably 2nd century as well. Then that beautiful fibula brooch as well. 
probably second, third century, and also the Laten brooches, which were amazing, were um, late Iron Age. So insane video. Definitely gonna be going back to that permission because it was an amazing dig. Thanks a lot, Joe, for letting us come out on that dig. Thanks a lot, History Hunters, and I'll see you all on the next.